Hey everybody, it's Kim. I'm back with a hopefully not too long of a video. It's going to be a Halloween card and we're going to use a piece of glossy cardstock. This is just actually photo paper because I couldn't find, I was at Walmart and I didn't want to go to another store so I just got photo paper that was like 4x6 for this because I've been wanting to try this for a while. So this is going to be a sunset with a cat in front of it, in front of the moon kind of thing. I'll show you. Let's get started. To do this, you want to use the lightest color first. Actually, I'm going to use yellow first because I want my moon to be yellow. So I'm just going to ink up your brayer. And to do that, you want to make sure that you roll and lift, roll and lift, roll and lift to get it all the way around the brayer so you don't have empty spots on it. So you want to ink it up really, really good. So now, do not start on the glossy paper because you'll have all these lines and starts and stops and all that kind of stuff. So start off of your paper and roll it a few times and then just come onto the paper and go roll, 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 lift it and roll, lift it and roll. See, I already got a line at the top. We'll just blend that in here in a minute, hopefully. So then ink up some more. And then again, don't start on the paper. Start off your paper and roll and then lift and roll, lift and roll, lift and roll. So that you get like a... So I'm going to put this where I made a line here. You see how that really made a line? I'm going to just put that at the bottom, so I'm not going to worry about that. But I don't need all that yellow, so I'm going to kind of turn it over. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I had to think for a minute, sorry. Okay, so start off the paper, roll. And lift and roll, lift and roll. See how much better that is? How it just kind of smoothly blends on there. A little bit more. This is noisy, sorry. Off the paper. Then come on to the paper. I'm certainly no expert at this, but I just thought it was a really cool technique, so I wanted to give it a shot with a Halloween card. So I want that moon to be yellow. So I'm gonna I cut out a circle punch a circle with my two inch circle punch, but you could cut out a circle on your Cricut or however you need to get a circle. Just a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of repositional tape, which I'm not getting any. I might regret doing this. Good lordy, I cannot get any tape to work right now. What is the deal? What is the deal? I just need a little bit. I'll be right back. Sorry, I could not get that tape to work, but it just little dot of repositional tape on that and I'm gonna put my moon like about here just put that down so that you don't get any more ink on that part of your paper okay so then I'm going to spray her off a little bit here most of that is off but I don't know not really okay so now I'm going to use some orange I'm using Sunset, how appropriate, huh? I didn't even know that when I grabbed it. Sunset orange. Ink your brayer up really, really good. And again, make sure that you're off the paper for the first few rolls. Then you're going to come on, lift and roll, lift and roll, lift and roll. It's going to take a few passes because you don't want it to be really stark and all of a sudden you've got the lines. So you just have, you got to waste a lot of ink, I guess, to do this is what I'm trying to say. Oops. And off the paper again. Lift and roll. And you can make it as light or, light or as dark, you know, as you want it. I'm not going to go too much more, just for time purposes here. And I want to add a little bit, 
think, a pink. Okay. Into this, but I want the pink more at the bottom. So I'm going to turn this over and start off the page again and roll and then just come on to that. Just get a little bit of pink at the very bottom edge of that. And then and I kind of made a line there. But that's okay for what we're doing, right? It's going to be covered up mostly anyway with my fence, which is the next part. All right, so I cut out on the Cricut with the Cricut Artiste cartridge on page, get this, page 32. That's not right. Ignore that. Sorry. I thought I had these all marked. And I must have moved it. Page 50 something. Okay, well, we can go on to the cat that I cut out. I cut out this cat on the eek key. It is a card function shift. And I cut him out at, I believe, two inches. And then I cut out my fence, which is not a fence actually, but, oh lordy. I'll be right back. I don't want to torture you. Okay, sorry about that. I found it. On the P key, I cut out accent four without the shift. And what it actually is, is one of the flowers that you can make. Well, I'll show you that one of these days. When I'm going to do a flower video on a couple different kinds of flowers. I cut that out at three inches and it cuts out a big long strip but I didn't need all that so I just cut it down to what the size that I needed which I think is four inches for this card. So you get this little strip like this and it kind of looks like a fence. It was the closest thing I could find to a picket fence and then I'm going to just kind of fold it just a little bit where the kiss cut lines are that the Cricut makes for you. I'm just kind of going to just because I want to make those show up a little bit better. And then I'm also going to take, excuse my head here, some gray ink and a little dauber. And I'm just going to daub the ink along the edges of each one of those. So here in Colorado, I don't know where everybody lives, but here where I live, it was really nice out today. It's supposed to be 83 tomorrow. It'll be October 23rd here, and that'll be Tuesday. And then on Thursday, we're going to go from 83 to 32 with snow. Yay! I'm so not excited. Alright, so see how that kind of find it a little bit. On the other side, it's hard to see that it, it could be a fence, but once you just kind of give it a little bit of definition there, you have a little bit of fence. Okay, so get all this ink out of the way. So once you take your mask off, then you have a nice bright moon there. And I still have tape there, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about that right now. That just did not go as planned in any way, shape, or form. But that's okay. My ATG gun is not working right either. I must have jammed it up, gummed it up. But that's okay. Alright, so I'm going to put this little fence down right on the bottom edge of that guy. 
I'm not going to tape it down too tight right there. And then I'm going to get my little kitty cat out here. Let me grab some dimensionals. Give him a couple of little dimensionals here. Let's see here. I won't totally put dimensionals everywhere just so that I can get this done and show you the card. I'm going to kind of put his couple little feet behind the fence. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. There we go. So it looks like he's kind of walking along the fence here. There we go. Walking in the moonlight. Okay. And then. I have Scary Halloween to you. So you can put whatever you want on there. That's just a Halloween stamp that I grabbed. You can put, you know, trick or treat, happy Halloween, whatever you want to put there. I'm going to put this kind of high up on the fence because I might put a ribbon across here too. I haven't decided yet. Scary Halloween to you. Sorry for the glare on that paper. It's glossy paper, so that's the price of that, I guess, huh? Okay, so now, the rest of my card, I have some orange cardstock here, and I'm going to put a black mat on that. And suddenly, my ATG gun is working fine, so itself, whatever its hang-up was. So I'm going to mat this some black on some orange. And the orange is a standard, you know, A2 size card. And I didn't get that straight, so I'm trying to get it off before it sticks. There we go. Let's stick it inside. Put a little bit more glue here. So the card is eight and a half by five and a half, folded in half at four and a quarter. So this mat is five and a half by four. And then I think I'm going to try to tie a little, a little ribbon around this guy here. Is that going to be? long enough. Get my tape. Do Robin's cheater method here. That's not where I want that. Put it closer to the bottom. Off camera here, sorry about that. Oh, uh, okay, that's too short. I'm gonna move that over a little bit. The great thing about tape, right? You can move it. I just had this little scrap piece of ribbon I was trying to use up, and it was just gonna be long enough, so I'm trying to make it work here. <laughs> Thanks. By the skin of my teeth, huh? I can kind of almost barely see that. And then I'll adhese, I'd put some adhesive on this piece. Sorry, I'm out of the camera here, but you know what I'm doing. Putting tape on that. And then we'll put this guy down. 
I'm not doing very good at getting this stuff straight tonight. Why? I'm not sure why. Because the angle that I'm sitting at probably. That's so, so not straight, but I'm not going to torture you guys anymore. I'm going to put a little ribbon through here and tie it. And we're going to call it good. I just wanted to show you that cool sunset technique that I saw on somebody else's video. I don't even remember who it was, and I'm sorry. I like to give people credit where I see it, but I've seen a few of them, and I just thought it was really cute. So, anyway, there we go. We're just going to do a little knot tie there instead of a bow because, you know, a bow would take me forever. So, there we go. Scary Halloween to you. Hope you guys like that. Sorry it's been so long since I did a video. I've been working on my blog, and I have some a few things on there. So check that out. It is www.stampandsquirrel.blogspot.com. There are a couple tabs on there to look at the giveaways. There's a tab to go to my website to shop if you want to look at CT uh, Close to My Heart stuff. Um, there's a few videos. Of, I'm not going to post every single video that I do because I'll run out of space, but I just wanted to tell you guys about that and hope you go check it out. It's coming along. I'm learning a little bit every chance I have to learn more about it and more about the videos. So I hope that you guys like that cute little card. Hope you have a happy Halloween. Bye-bye.